In August of 2009, a devastating fire swept through St. Elmo's United Methodist Church. The 1921 structure was completely consumed. As the smoke faded, the question in everyone's mind was, could anything be saved, or would this historical building be lost forever? Under normal circumstances, St. Elmo's probably would have been considered a complete loss. We got in the car and came right over here about 15 minutes and you could see flames coming out of one of the windows. When we were on the street out there, we thought the whole thing was going down completely. The loss was horrible, but yet um, it served a purpose, a higher purpose. The space we had before was, was not really conducive to what we were doing. After the structural engineer and the architect took a look at the building, they determined it was possible to salvage three of the existing walls. The CDH team created a solution to rebuild this landmark church that is so familiar to the St. Elmo community. Engineers worked with the Strauss Company, the church's contractor, to preserve the three remaining walls of the original building and to construct a new church. The end result was an energy efficient facility that is better suited for the ministry needs of the congregation and the community. We wanted something that still felt like a, a worship place, you know, because beauty doesn't seem to be valued so much in our world anymore. And because it was uh, a church built in the 1920s, it was one of the oldest buildings in the community. Before permitting the building, it was necessary for the design team to present our solution to the uh, Chattanooga Historic Preservation Board as well as to the city council. They did a wonderful job designing this building in that sense of the old and the new combined together. It's just a brilliant idea. One of the prime objectives for the project was to maintain the historical uh, significance of the building. But second to that was to have a building that met the programming needs for the church. Probably the most significant change from the old building to the new building was the addition to um, one side of the sanctuary. The narthex was expanded to create a, a, a space for parishioners to gather, have coffee, and circulate to the, the back portion of the building without disturbing what was going on within the sanctuary. Uh, I think those who are not so familiar with this community or new to it feel welcome because they come in and they see some modernity and you know I think the old people see the sanctuary and it still reminds them aesthetically of a church so it's a you're, it's a great great combination of the old and the new. Members received the best of both worlds a new church within the original church walls in a very supportive historic district. Finally when the lights were turned back on the congregation was awed by what they saw. The interior flow had changed, allowing people to move easily through the building. The new space alongside the sanctuary reveals the exterior of the original structure. The simplistic beauty of the space allows light from the outside to fill the new narthex. We worked very closely with both the owner and the contractor. By doing this, it controlled the cost, it controlled the budget, and this allowed us to build them exactly what they needed. I think they built a pretty incredible building for the amount of money they had and, and what they worked with. Uh, but we've been very blessed in that um, we, we had good insurance and it covered most everything. As you see now, you see how, how great it looks. Uh, the building itself almost has a soul, if you want to say. We're reaching out to this community. So I think what, what it gave us more than anything, especially with the, the new uh, Fellowship Hall gymnasium slash you know, community center, a building that will serve the community better and allow us to become more oriented to helping the less fortunate. Despite St. Elmo's traditional building design, CDH applied sustainable design principles to rebuild the church. Stair treads in the expanded narthex came from salvaged timbers rescued from the original building. Reclaimed brick from the fire was also used on the exterior of the new addition. It was important to pay tribute to the existing building and to what had been there before. So great pains were taken to match what we could. The uh, stained glass windows were replicated. The pews were modeled after what had been there before. The new space that's alongside the sanctuary showed the exterior of the existing building 
and with some contemporary elements it, that were very minimalistic, it allowed the building to speak for itself. Large windows along that side also allow you to see in to the space. You can actually see the former exterior walls through there, but when you're inside, you have a, a great view to look out mountain just beyond where the church is located. It was powerful to, to see this building consecrated to God and, and given to God. And that's, that's why we're here. You know, that's our purpose is to, to, to worship and to, to make a difference in the lives of people.